This video is very important if you own XRP, Cardano, or Hedera HBAR, or any cryptocurrency in general, actually. Now, why do I say that? Because XRP broke $1 a couple of days ago, and I have been warning you all that HBAR also could go down. And why do I say that? Because if we take a look at Ethereum, this major red arrow, this major red candle just turned on today. And that is a very bearish signal because it failed to basically go up here once it reached its previous resistance. So that is a signal that we could go down more on Ethereum. And Bitcoin also is looking extremely bearish. Now I'm not trying to scare any of you, but look at this line right here. It's about to go negative. And why do I think that the next couple of days and weeks could be very volatile? Because the Fed will start tapering in this month, in December. And not to only that, but a U.S. government shutdown could happen as early as tomorrow by midnight. Yes, if the government, if Republicans and Democrats do not come to an agreement on raising the U.S. debt ceiling, tomorrow the government will shut down the U.S. government. And not only that, but the world's largest crypto lawsuit with the 1.1 million Bitcoin is happening right now and this is kind of good news because the jury cannot agree to a verdict and i have said on this channel that i believe the best outcome for this lawsuit because two people are claiming to be satoshi nakamoto they're claiming to be the owner and the creator of bitcoin right so the best outcome for this is if none of them come out victorious and both of them lose why do i say that because then no one will get claim of the 1.1 million bitcoin so it's good to see that they're at a standstill and another major risk is what's happening with the virus we all know that it's expanding around the world and this new variant yesterday was first confirmed in california and then today just a couple of hours ago another case in colorado so those are some reasons why I think Bitcoin, Ethereum, HBAR, XRP, and the whole crypto market in general can go down in the next couple of days and weeks. And also, I asked you all yesterday, and about 10,000 people answered, I asked all of you, will crypto go up in December or down in December? And about 75% of you believe that crypto will go up. Why do you believe that? Because all the major influencers, all the major YouTubers have been telling you that this bull run will repeat 2017 and 2013, that in December we will have the best month because that's what happened the two previous bull runs. But let me ask you a question. Does that happen in the stock market? Does the stock market replicate itself exactly like previous bull runs? No. So cryptocurrency eventually is going to break the trend and this year could very well be that. So I am suggesting and I am hoping you all kind of open your eyes of what's going on around the world, everyone. Now, how do you prepare yourself? You have money on the side to invest when the dip comes. You work hard, you pick up a second job, a side hustle, whatever it is. I do not think that selling is the best strategy. I believe that in my own portfolio, I am holding and I am just going to buy the dip. And unfortunately, many people will sell their Ethereum and Bitcoin if it goes down a little bit. Yes, many people invested right now do not remember when Ethereum last year was at like less than $500. Ethereum was literally less than $500 just last year. So is it possible that Ethereum goes down? Yes. Is it possible that Bitcoin goes down? Yes. Now this money manager thinks that Bitcoin could reach $10,000, the worst bear case scenario. Because usually crypto drops about 80 to 90% from its peak to its trout. So Bitcoin at $70,000, let's say that is the peak. If it drops 80 to 90%, we could see a $10,000 Bitcoin. And honestly, 
I remember just like yesterday, Bitcoin was less than $10,000. My brother and I like started investing in crypto and buying some more whenever like last year during the COVID crash when Bitcoin was literally around six, $7,000. So that was just last year, everyone. That was just last year. And again, unfortunately, many people will sell Ethereum and Bitcoin if it goes down 30, 40%. Like right now, Ethereum is only down about 5% from its previous all-time high. Ethereum's down 5% only from its all-time high. So we can easily see it go down 20 to 30%, everyone. It's done it before. It's done it before so many times. So do not be scared. Do not be scared. And that is why, again, I am not selling because I believe that there is a very big possibility that we just go down 30, 40 percent worst case and then go back up and keep breaking all time highs in the next couple of months. And what we spoke about today is real. The government shutdown tomorrow could literally happen. And the largest Bitcoin lawsuits in history is happening right now. And we all know about the variant that's moving around the world that could also stunt the economic recovery and stunt the growth of countries around the world. So there are a lot of risks and a lot of things that we must overcome to achieve greatness that were not here in 2017 and 2013. That this year is different than previous bull runs, everyone. Please, Please, when everyone is telling you that this bull run will be the exact same way, it is not going to be. In 2017, no one thought it would replicate 2013. No one thought in 2017 we would replicate the exact same bull run that we did in 2013. So it did it. It replicated it. But if this time... If everyone thinks we are going to replicate previous bull runs, it is not going to happen. It's not. And join us, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be right. We're not going to have the exact same bull run, the exact same trajectory. Obviously, it can never be the same. So... If you like my honesty, my directness, we're growing to 50,000 subscribers. So subscribe to this channel, share this with your family and friends too. And I love you all. I will see you very soon. Until next time, Mr. Mufleh, out.